Uh, yeah. Um, well, as I'm sure everyone who's been doxing uh, would agree, you know, uh, showing real time uh, information about somebody's location is uh, inappropriate. And I think everyone on this call would not like that to be done for, to them. And, and there is not going to be any distinction in the future between journalists, so-called journalists, and, and regular people. Everyone's going to be treated the same. They're not special because you're a journalist. You're, you're just, you're, you're a Twitter, you're just your citizen. Um, so uh, no special treatment. Um, you dox, you dox, you get suspended. End of story. All right, guys. So <laughs> once again, I feel like this is just something that just happens every single day. Maybe it's done on purpose. OK, maybe Elon is doing this on purpose, but he's found a way to trigger the mainstream liberal media. Uh, and in this time, it's in the worst way possible for them because he has started suspending left wing journalists in mass for posting his real time information in regards to where he's at his location on twitter now if you guys don't know the background to this story elon musk uh is very concerned about attempts on his life he came out and said that you know he believes that it's possible that he could be assassinated and then uh just a couple days ago he had a antifa like character uh following his son's car and tried to attack his son's car was stalking his son's car um, so Elon Musk is concerned about uh, some of the left-wing extremism that I try to tell you guys is so rampant in this country. The left-wing extremists going after him and potentially trying to hurt him or his family members. So basically in response to that, uh, Elon Musk has started nuking uh, accounts that are posting his real-time information on Twitter under the doxing policy. The doxing is, is not allowed, okay? You're not allowed to post people's real-time information their addresses you know identifiable information personal information onto twitter for the purposes of trying to potentially you know hurt that person or to incite some type of violence against that person and elon musk has made it very clear that he's not allowing this on the platform he's not allowing the posting of people's real-time locations on the platform uh the left-wing liberal media journalists decided to F around and they F around and they found out. Okay. They F around by trying to call Elon Musk's bluff and they decided to post links to Elon Musk's real time location. For what reason? We really don't know. Okay. They did it anyways. They did it. Okay. These are people with hundreds of thousands of followers. We all know they hate Elon Musk. They don't like Elon Musk. Sounds to me like they're trying to incite violence against Elon Musk. What other reason would you post that? But you know, hey, that's neither here nor there. And again, they effed around and found out Elon Musk nuked him. And the uh, journalists who got nuked worked at CNN, Washington Post, New York Times, and one of them was independent, but again, a, a left winger. Uh, and you know, you guys know that the mainstream liberal media was not having that. They, they, they lost their minds. They're losing their minds over the fact that Elon Musk dared suspend one of their own, even though they had no issues with Elon Musk, with Twitter uh, suspending conservative journalists or banning uh, people on the right. They had no issues with that whatsoever. It's a private company. He can do whatever he wants. But now all of a sudden, uh, Elon Musk is a hypocrite when it comes to free speech. And, you know, he doesn't understand what free speech is, blah, blah, blah. But before they was telling us that free speech is the ability to ban whoever you want. So I'm, I'm just saying, there's a whole lot of things going on here that I want to talk about. And I'm going to show the segment from CNN in which, you know, they're, they're, <laughs> they're melting down over this. But first, I want to kind of go through everything that's happening here. Okay. As again, Elon Musk uh, made it clear after he suspended these people that, you know, the same doxing rules apply to everybody, including journalists, right? He says, clearly, uh, they posted my exact real-time location, basically assassination coordinates in obvious direct violation of Twitter terms of service. And then AOC chimes in on this because, you know, she loves Elon Musk. She apparently, according to her own logic, wants to sleep with Elon Musk. She wants to get her cheeks clapped by Elon Musk. She says, <laughs> quote, you're a public figure, an extremely controversial and powerful one. I get feeling unsafe, but descending into abuse of power plus erratically banning journalists only increases the intensity around you. Take a beat and lay off the proto-fascism. Maybe try putting down your phone. <laughs> Elon Musk says, you first. And it, uh, AOC says, as someone who has been subject to real plus dangerous plots, I do get it. 
I didn't have security and and have experienced many scary incidents. In fact, many of the right wing outlets you now elevate published photos of my home, car, etc. At a certain point, you got to disconnect. Okay, so AOC has chimed in on this. She's basically telling Elon Musk that, you know, um, he shouldn't be worried about his life. Okay, even though um, AOC always is complaining, right, and crying about the alleged attempts on her life and her feeling unsafe. She's trying to lecture Elon Musk saying that he got to suck it up, <laughs> right? Again, amazing how this works. Uh, so before I get more into this and my reaction to it and my breakdown of it, let's just go ahead and play a clip from, from CNN and their meltdown that they're having over the, these journalists, one of their own, getting banned from the platform. Take a look. He's now taking the unprecedented step of suspending journalists from a major social media platform and drawing criticism from world leaders as a result. The German foreign minister chiming in this morning saying press freedom cannot be switched on and off on a whim. One of those journalists who was banned last night is CNN's Donny O'Sullivan. He joins us now. There are a lot of things to clear up here. Mm. I think the most important is an accusation that he made. Elon Musk said, quote, they posted my exact real time location. Did you do that? No, that's just entirely false. And from what we can see, the other journalists who have been suspended as well also did not post his precise live location. What did you do? This me? all <laughs> this all goes back. I poked the billionaire. Um, this all goes back to a few days ago when there's this account that tracks the location using publicly available of information plane. of his plane. Uh, and he kicked that off Twitter. He changed the rules to make it against Twitter's rules. Um, and we were reporting on that. We were reporting on, on the shutdown yesterday. Um, and late last night, last night around 7, 8 p.m., um, colleague Oliver Darcy uh, texted me to say, you've been suspended from Twitter. The reporters, including CNN's Donio Sullivan and others from The New York Times, Washington Post and other outlets, said the suspensions happened without any warning or real explanation afterward. They were suspended one day after Twitter changed its policy on sharing live location information, mainly in part to justify suspending an account that tracked flight data and shared the location of Elon's private jet, despite how he pl once pledged to keep that account online. Our colleague Donny O'Sullivan did not share Elon Musk's location, and others say they didn't either. Musk once said that his purchase of Twitter would actually expand free speech on the platform, and he wrote earlier this year, quote, I hope that even my worst critics remain on Twitter because that is what free speech means. Here's Musk in his own words. Well, I think it's very important for uh, there to be an inclusive arena for free speech uh, where Oh, yeah. so, uh, yeah. Um, the, the Twitter has become kind of the de facto town square. Is someone you don't like allowed to say something you don't like? And if that is the case, then we have free speech. Mm. Joining us now to discuss is CNN senior media reporter Oliver Darcy and CNN media analyst Sarah Fisher, who is also a media reporter at Axios. Oliver? What happened to that Elon that we just heard? Yeah. Yeah. Right? Just a few months ago. Yeah, I mean, I think this has really exposed his lack of commitment to free speech. I don't know how you can claim to support free speech and then ban journalists from The New York Times, CNN, The Washington Post, and others yesterday. Um, and I also think this does raise a big question about what the future of free speech looks like on Twitter. Um, are news organizations going to stay on Twitter? News organizations have been the lifeblood of Twitter for some time. I mean, that's what Twitter is. People go there for real-time information, and they look for credible information from journalists at major news organizations. I think it's going to be interesting to see whether news orgs stand for this. I think CNN, in its statements, even pointed out that it was going to evaluate um, its future mm -hmm. with the platform depending on how Twitter responds. And so far, Twitter has responded, or Elon Musk has responded, because it's really him at this point, by smearing the journalists who he banned, saying that they posted effective assassination coordinates on him. That is, you know, not true. And it's, uh, I don't think, a valid answer to, to what he's done here. Is it just a, a probably a combination of lack of a plan? I think it's poor planning. There is no plan. And thin skin. 
is yeah. basically what it is. And just making you know what up as he goes. Yeah, and I think to Oliver's point, journalists are willing to listen to rules if they really are consistent. The challenge here is there is no consistency. Now, he said that these journalists were banned because they doxed him. This isn't what doxing is. Doxing is Can posting... You explain doxing? Yeah. Yes, doxing is posting someone's personally identifiable information, such as... Like an address, right? Their address, their email phone address, number. their phone number, with malintent, basically, to ensure that person gets harassed. What these journalists were doing is they were posting links to an account that was actually moved to a different social media site because Elon Musk banned it from Twitter that had publicly available information about Elon Musk's jet location and they were aggregating it and posting it. Yeah, I would love to see the reaction of any of these people, AOC, Don Lemon, these zesty journalists, right, that got suspended uh, by Elon Musk. I would love to see their reaction if somebody started to post their real-time location and you have people again with hundreds of thousands of followers who disagree with them politically posting this i would love to see that reaction because i guarantee you the reaction would not be well if i get upset about this or you can't get upset about this because uh, i don't want to have thin skin <laughs> right i'm pretty sure that would not be the reaction i think everybody would say oh no this is doxing i don't like this i'm uncomfortable with this i don't like the fact that again people are posting my real time location now, again, here's the thing. There's so much hypocrisy here. It's, it's just, it's, it's stunning. It really is. Yes, Elon Musk came out here and said that he was a free speech absolutist, right? I think that is what he means in regards to his own personal beliefs. However, he's running a company and that company has to have rules and regulations, okay? And Elon Musk has came in and said, look, um, I'm going to be more pro-free speech and I'm not going to censor people based off political opinion, which is what Twitter was doing. Twitter was censoring people based off political opinion. That is what he meant when he said, I'm going to be more pro-free speech. He didn't mean that he's just going to allow any and everything, including direct threats of violence, which I guess you could interpret posting somebody's real-time address as doxing because in that video clip we just saw, they agreed that posting somebody's address is doxing. So, I mean, uh, essentially posting somebody's real-time location is like posting their real-time address, where they're at. So again, I don't really see what, what the difference is, okay? I don't know why these left-wing journalists felt the need to even do that. Why even try to post a link to it? You can report on it without posting a link to it. Why do it? But we, we all know why they did it. They was trying to be funny. They was effing around, and they effed around, and they found out. Elon Musk is not playing about this. This man's son was stalked, and the car was attacked allegedly by a left-wing extremist. He's not playing around about this. He has reason to believe that his life is in danger, which is the conversation we should be having. The conversation we shouldn't be having is about, oh my God, you know, my band, the New York Times journalist, oh my God, I feel bad. This is a threat to free speech. Well, no, these people don't care about free speech, right? They don't care about free speech, okay? And apparently they don't understand what free speech is because they told us before that free speech was the ability for these platforms to be able to ban whoever they want. So now Elon Musk is exercising his free speech and they want to boohoo whine and complain and say he's not uh, for free speech. Look, I've never had a problem with the rules on the platform. I just have a problem with the enforcement. They don't enforce the rules equally. Yes, these platforms have a right to have whatever rules they want. They can ban whoever they want, but don't have a set of rules posted and then you start banning people uh, who didn't even break the rules like Trump, right? That, that's my problem with these platforms. They're banning people based off political ideology, not necessarily based off the rules. Okay, that's my that's my actual real beef. Okay, but these people clearly are not for private companies having free speech when it comes to their people getting banned for what you could interpret as a threat of violence. I think you can reasonably interpret that more so than you can interpret Trump's tweets. Okay, uh, you can interpret posting Elon Musk's real time location, especially in the context of the fact that the man has already come out here and said that you know he feels like his life is in danger. His son was being stalked. Okay, yeah, why would you even why would you even post something like that? Why even? It, it doesn't make sense. Unless, unless, again, they're they're totally fine with that stuff happening. And that's the shame here. Because the conversation is not about, well, why does this guy, who's not even a right winger, he's not a conservative, he's a moderate, why does he feel like his life is in danger all of a sudden? Because now, you know, he's went against the left when it comes to certain issues in politics. See, that's the real conversation to be, need to be had because what that reveals is that uh, we have left-wing extremists that 
will go out of their way to inflict harm on people just for disagreeing with them politically. But the main, mainstream media told us that, no, 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 only people on the right do that. There's only a threat of violence for people on the right. And it's like, no, no, no. If you're actually paying attention, most of it comes from the left. Because this is what most people, a lot of people on the right, who have a sizable platform have to deal with. Left-wing extremists doing stuff like this. Nobody gets more violent in this country when it comes to political differences than the left. Okay? And this is another prime example of that. They don't care. They will dox you. They will reveal your information. They will ruin your life. They will uh, call for people to go after you like they did the Supreme Court justice. They don't care. But instead of talking about that, talking about the fact that this man's son was being stalked and maybe saying, you know what? We should denounce this, right? We should come out against this. Instead of talking about that, no, no, no. Elon Musk, he got thin skin. He got thin skin because he don't want to allow his coordinates to be on uh, social media, <laughs> right? Again, it's amazing. It's amazing. These people, we all know what the reaction would be if the tables were turned. If somebody posted Don Lemon's real-time location, we all know he would be losing it. He would be losing his mind. He would be, he would be totally pro-censorship and banning of the people that are doing that. But because of somebody else that he disagrees with politically, though, oh, no, he will. He's just thin-skinned. He's just enforcing the rules just in, in, inconsistently. Again, this is amazing, man. I, I don't think that, again, if this was done to anybody else, I don't think people would be celebrating this. If, again, if, if, if this was being done to other people. But again, the hypocrisy here is stunning. These same people who were silent and justifying Twitter banning right-wing journalists for no reason said, oh, well, it's justified. Private company can do what they want. But all of a sudden, Elon Musk turns the tables on them. They get a taste of their own medicine. And left-wing journalists are being banned from the platform. Now they want to boo-hoo whine and cry about it. Oh, you can't ban journalists. It's the attack on free speech. Again, it, it this is it, it's amazing. Right? It's absolutely amazing. Uh Elon Musk is is really revealing who these people truly are. And again, the, the hypocrisy here is just it's, it's absolutely stunning. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.